Should we say that Paul just won everything in the last <laughs> month, therefore we, come we to had him. to travel, we had to come to you. First ever remote episode. <laughs> you guys episode. want to portray me as the diva? No. <laughs> <laughs> what, what city is this? This is Canoga Park. Canoga Park. All right. Yeah. And we are in my warehouse, and uh, this is where me and this guy played about 10 games of skate right here where we are last night. Well, thanks for having us here. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. I'm honored that you guys actually brought the show here to us. I well, we, we needed you on the show. I'm a little that nervous happened. that everyone's going to think now that we're going to come to them <laughs> it's not every week. <laughs> well, if you win X Games in Straight League back in, to in back. two weeks, then yeah. sure, we'll come to you. I feel like we've watched you at Street League for like three years now, yeah. like working for it and working for it, yeah. and like finally, I know it happened for it feels you. Great. Right? It feels it feels great. I don't know what to say. I mean, just to like go from like not even getting anywhere close to the first place spot to all of a sudden just like, hey, you won one. Yeah. Oh, really? Like yeah. the whole time, like you know, the closest I had been was fourth place, but like I was hovering between the sixth and the fourth place spot, like every yeah. time, every mm -hmm. time, and then finally, just all of a sudden, just oh, we win. Like, yeah, it's was great. there ever a it's time really where you great. thought like it was impossible for you to like, no. like over all these years, were you like, man, maybe this isn't gonna happen for me, or? No, like maybe it like will flash through your mind, but my whole thing is like, I'm no way I would allow yeah. that to live in my thought it's, process. It's, How about you? It's, yeah. Nah, it's always possible, but the only thing is to win those contests is like you have to be on your game yourself. Yeah. It doesn't matter about anyone else. I think yeah. as long as you have a good plan to like where you can win, because sometimes you could do like the wrong tricks to where no matter what, most of the dudes are gonna land this stuff and you can't win anyway. You know? Yeah. So you just have to, and he does. He has enough crazy tricks to be able to win every time it's just look oh, at this look at that time. setup that ledge off the drops for street league i had to test it out to see if the switch front blow and that that ledge is way no so yeah, like I, I tried it off that drop <laughs> and clearly it worked yeah it, was, it, it, worked. it helped confidence going into it, so because when i got there and i saw it i was like all right it's like kind of similar to how i set it up <laughs> at the park so i was like okay i think i can do this here. yeah and now you guys live together yeah how's that Pretty good. So that's yeah. We got together and rented a cool house, and it's fun times. So, um, <laughs> is there? Can you guys each name one bad thing about living with each other? Is there a bad thing? It gets a little grimy. Yeah. Skate, yeah. skate house. Yeah. But not so like not are, like seventeen so year old skate house. We're not like skate seventeen house. year old skate house, but like. <laughs> Grown ass man it's skate house. It's a little skate dusty. House. Sophisticated skate house. There's, there's things get a little dust on the yeah. organized. Yeah. We have a big house, and he's complaining about some dust. No, we're just. We're just I'm just hey, saying. I can we're see a little the sloppier coming than, out. I can see the room. We're a little sloppier than you know, than yeah. anyone else in our neighborhood who lives in one of those houses. Who How is it having Brad something? as like your boss? He's not a boss at all. <laughs> he's just. I don't know, writing for Skate Mental is not like having another sponsor. It's just like I get to put input in and then get boards and you know see cool graphics from him that's it it's not like I have to go on tour and do all this weird stuff I mean I still would love to do skate mental tours which I think yeah. we're gonna start to but there's not really a big team you know so it's not yeah. like, but it's cool though do you get really bothered when you have a lot of, there's any like distractions while you're trying to skate mmm depends I can not like not like contests or like yesterday? What do you mean? You told me the story. Oh, yeah. The ledge. <laughs> I mean, I'll, yesterday I was trying to trick on this ledge, and these kids, every time they were, they were filming a land tour, and obviously it's all good, but the kid would just scream every time he would land, like try a trick, he would mess up, he would scream, and then he would watch the footage, and he would go back, and then I had to wait every time, and I was like, it's all good, but it was kind of frustrating. Because you can't, do you not stay in the zone? Is yeah, it's, it's actually only for ledge tricks yeah. that I get into that. Like, I, I'd rather go film with less people if I'm going to try ledge tricks, because everyone's just sitting around, you know what I mean? So I feel bad. Yeah. But other than that, like contests, I don't care or anything like that. Yeah. Was there something you overheard at Street League on Ontario in a bathroom? Uh -huh. Let me tell you that one. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> You guys are very secret with your sources, just to let you know, these are good stories. That's it. So I'm at Street League. This is Ontario. Uh, it's the practice before the final start. And you're nervous, everything, yeah. all these adrenaline's rushing through oh, you, and you're nervous, time. and all of a sudden, I'm sitting there about to practice, and I'm like, oh, God. So I had to go to the bathroom. My stomach <laughs> yeah. starts rumbling. Just you get nervous. nervous. Yeah. yeah. 
things happen. It's stressful. So all of a sudden, two dudes walk in, and I just hear this one dude like, yo, dude, I'm not trying to show you my dick or anything, but check this out. And like, I don't know what's happening. At this point, I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> what the fuck's going on, you know? Oh. And then I hear this God. other voice like, yeah, man. Oh, that's sick, man. <laughs> oh my God, you mind if I take a photo of that? And the guy's like, yeah, sure, dude, no problem. So at this point, I'm starting to think, what, what the could fuck? they be talking about, right? So I'm just like, oh my God, what is going on right now? And I don't realize who it is yet. And so I hear this voice say, hey, does Rob know about this? He's like, what? No, man, he didn't know about it yet. He's like, can I take a picture? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, wait up, I gotta, I gotta go back. It's too big, it won't fit in the frame. And I'm thinking, what the heck is going on? I was, I'm just hearing. And I was thinking like, okay, I recognize this voice. I recognize this subject, topic. And I was like, I started realizing, this is Jason Dill talking to some guy, you know? At this point, I'm gathering like, maybe it's some type of tattoo this guy has close to his penis area, I don't know. That is wow. so, that is the funniest That's thing crazy. to overhear. Like, yeah. it's too big, I don't want to show you. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm just like, what are they doing? What are they talking about? And then I was like, awkward, because I, I almost part of me was almost gonna be like, uh, guys, somebody's in here, just give me a heads up, like. The other day I was going to Arizona and the, the Delta dude stole my boards and I was trying to find him for so long. They called me to the baggage thing and the guy stole my board so he could get a piece of paper signed. Like, but it took so long and he was, he was gonna keep my boards if I didn't go there. Just cause he's kidding. To get a signature? Can he even keep yeah. his job Are you kidding me? Yeah. And he comes out like, in like a yellow, an orange vest. Like, dude, if that happened, I would have been like, hell yeah. nice no, signing. I ain't yeah. your slave, dude. Like, Where's your boss? Yeah, like, What's your dude. Manager? He, and yeah, then, dude. And then at Straight Leg, I saw a kid like, hey, my dad like took your boards at the airport or something. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Got a photo with him and stuff. <laughs> a, but Paul, you're hanging out with rappers now. <laughs> we are. Oh, you guys are. Yeah. You guys are just like hanging, palling around <laughs> with Wheezy. Is that is that? What, yeah. is that you come skate here all yeah. the time. Whenever he's in LA, he comes. Yeah, he, he's he has keys to the too. park. I gave him a key the first time he came to the park. I said, "Here, come whenever you want." So. And like when he's here or something, he's, it's cool because you get to see him just being like a normal individual. You know, like it's just he's just being a regular guy. Like he gets stoked when someone lands a trick, and being a fan for like. Over Forever. 10 plus, I've been <laughs> such a big fan. So like skating with someone who really inspired and motivated you is like, I still get real shy. So I don't, I don't just be like, yo, Weezy, you need to scoop that more, or flick that more, or do this or that. Like if he asks like, hey man, any pointers? I'll, I'll try and give him a couple things, but I don't, I'm not trying to like, let me show you how it's done, you know, like that type of thing. Just, what are his go-to tricks? Like, what's he starting to pick up that's like... Oh, dude, he's getting better and better every time. Like, first he used to just start off, like, board side on the edge of this uh, uh -huh. manual pad right here. And last time he was here, he board said the flat bar, like, moved it to the full flat bar. Uh -huh. Like, he skates every single day. Yeah, he built out a whole skate park yeah. in his house, right? I went to his and house. It was insane. There, yeah. You went there? Just by myself. It was insane. <laughs> so he has three skate parks on the roof. Okay. Yeah, it's insane. There's three different sections, three different skate parks on the roof. Fuck, he probably skates more than most skaters, you know what I mean? Like he skates from one o'clock in the morning day, till five know. in the morning and then goes to record and then does whatever else he's got to do all day. He has a full staff, travels with him every day, everywhere. Like yeah. security, chef, masseuse, <laughs> stylist, so uh, whatever else, assistants, like just Anything you can need, like. Do they come in here, like yeah. set up the the no. tables, craft one services? Time, one time we did a food. CCS photo shoot here, and Tori was like, "My back hurts," uh, and and Wayne was like, "You need some work on that?" He's like, "Yeah, I'll go get a massage, I'll go to the <laughs> chiropractor tomorrow." And Weezy like said to one of his assistants, "Yo, yo, call so and so." Ten minutes later, this lady came through with the full like yeah, massage table, insane. unfolded it in the room, and was like, <laughs> oh "Yo, Tori." <laughs> This lady here, she'll take care of you. And she just stretched him out, massaged him, everything, like, Jeez. just like that, like. Uh, What's like the craziest sure thing work. you saw in his house? Uh, you saw the Bugatti, yeah. Saw the Bugatti, that's what, $2 million car yeah. or something? Yeah, like, pay cash. Just out the front is just crazy cars. I mean, I'm not too much of a car dude, but seeing that was obviously pretty sick. And I don't know, just little things like when, like he mentioned stuff in his songs that I see at his house, like his elevators and stuff like that, yes. you know, it's pretty cool. Like a lot of people hate on him, little skater kids, because they're just like, why would you skate with him? But like, we've, I've like grown up loving him as an artist, you know? Why would I not want to just go skating with him and be friends with a person That's like that? Like, well, that would be weird to it's say fun. about anyone. Why yeah. wouldn't anyone skate with anyone? Yeah, you know, and he just has fun. It's not like this guy makes a hundred million dollars a year. He's not trying to like 
become the yes. best skater in the world. Like, he's trying yeah. to he's trying to come into our no industry yeah. and yeah. make so much money. Yeah. Like People you realize, so like offended. our world is like this yeah. compared to the world that yeah. he lives in. Like yeah, yeah. He, he's like, not worried about that. He, he skates because he just feels like it. It's just fun, and obviously we know that because we've been skating for. I've been skating for what, 12 years maybe? And how long have you been skating for? Like 16. Yeah. Uh-huh. So. Aww. You should do a little Wayne episode. Do you think a little uh, Wayne would come on the show? I think he'd be stoked to come on. Yeah. Yeah, we should bring you'd him. You'd probably have to. You'd probably have to take the studio to him, though. I'm yeah, not we'd have to do that again. <laughs> I don't mind going to Miami <laughs> yeah, rooftop. Let's yeah, do yeah, this. Yeah. The Nike video. Chronicles too. Yeah. Well, when when are we expecting it to soon? be done? No, I think it's still a year away. Uh huh. Yeah, I think they gave it maybe a year and a half. So I don't even know who's in the second one yet, yeah. but I know it's, it'll be cool. I know Ashad's in it, and I know that he's got a lot of footage, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a uh, just machine. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got a new shoe coming out. Yeah, yeah. Well, it just came out, my P-Rod 6. So I'm real excited. Six shoes. I can't believe it's already this far along. Super stoked. Lunar Lawn is all, also going to be a part of it again this year. and. Um, you know, just a good old-fashioned skateboard shoe. Yeah, so how many things are you filming for right now? Uh, so far in concrete, I'm filming for Plan B. Yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be hectic. I gotta get to work on that. And so contest-oriented, I gotta get out on the streets now. We've only got one more straight week this year, and then you got due tour free. In, San, in San Francisco, right? Yeah. And that's it the rest of the year? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think you should yeah. wear this. No, no, no. no? okay, I'll wear this. Yeah, you can wear it. That's heavy. Heavy as you We have two and a half now. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, can I borrow this? I think it, it goes really. Wear it to agenda. Yeah.